morning my love so lovely to have you with me this morning I hope you're having the most beautiful beginning and today I just wanted to allow you or invite you to step into this space where we get to explore how you would feel who you would be if you didn't feel fear and we have this perception around fear is it something that is not a good thing that's something that we need to try and avoid or to not feel but the reality is fear is an incredible emotion because it gives us feedback as to where our edges are like where's my edge where am i where's my where's my boundary so to say before I feel like oh my gosh I'm totally stepping out into the unknown and so it's actually an amazing thing to feel if you're someone who's on a path who is really on that path of growth is on a path of self-discovery is on a path of expansion in life and experiencing all things then fear to feel fear itself is a sign of okay I'm on the right track like I feel this kind of unrest and um, unsettledness within me and there's a lot that I get to actually explore and dive into from this so I just first of all wanted to set that premise that fear is an incredible tool and an incredible feedback emotion that when you are someone who loves to grow and expand that you are on the right track so to speak if you want to keep growing if you want to keep expanding and then I want you to just feel into your body and feel into your soul who would you be if you didn't feel this kind of debilitating fear what would you do how would you show up in life who would you be if you didn't have any masks on if you weren't needing to play a role of the mother or the wife or the business person or the yoga instructor or the spiritual guru or whatever notice how we can really easily put on this mask of identification and it can be really challenging to be really fluid and really flexible in life when we feel like we're holding on to an identity that maybe doesn't serve us anymore you know for me I believe we're supposed to have many many deaths in a lifetime many ego deaths many identity deaths and the more that we can actually allow ourselves to let go the more in flow we can be with the transition of you know allowing that identity to die so that we create the space for the new to awaken the new to arrive and it's always when we clear space and when we let go that we allow the new to come in the new cannot come in when there's no space for it to be there and it's just like this little analogy about your closet you know maybe you've got a closet and it's crammed with clothes and you literally cannot squeeze another item in your closet until you let go of something that no longer brings you joy or something that you no longer love anymore and it's really about this creating space within our own being within our own essence of who we are to allow ourselves to keep evolving to not stay attached to certain identities of who we think we are or who we think we should be and transitions are painful when we resist transitions are painful when our ego doesn't want to let go when we don't want to let go of that identity but here's the thing like you are all of you with out any identity without anything connecting you to something externally you are all of you just simply because you're breathing and so a lot of the time we struggle to let go because we feel that it is taking a part of us or 
we feel that there's a part of us that is dying. And there is a part of you that's dying, but nothing can be taken from you. Everything that you would have gained and really, like, really embodied from that experience is always going to stay within you. And so nothing is ever lost. Nothing is ever lost. It's like this beautiful tapestry and everything that flows is a thread into that tapestry and that thread always exists. It's never broken, it's never lost. That thread in your tapestry of that timeline will always be there. And so the more we get to let go, the more we get to find a sense of peace, a sense of, a sense of flow and fluidity in our lives because we're not attached to it needing to be a certain way or we're not attached to a certain identity that we've created for ourselves. And so seeing this kind of beautiful natural cycle that we see in the seasons, really embodying that in our lives. And so just sit with that, sit with that for a moment. Those two very simple but powerful and profound questions. Who would you be without fear? And who would you be if you let go of all the masks of who you think you are or who you think you should be? If you were just being all of you. So just allow that to kind of just feel this sense of peace and this presence in this very moment. And know that there's nothing that can be taken away from you. In fact, the more that we let go, the more we open up to the wonder of being guided on this incredible journey. And we actually create the space for things that we can't even perceive magic real like incredible scenarios that show up that in our current state we couldn't have even perceived allowing yourself to be guided by something greater than our monkey mind or ego so i'm sending you so 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 much love always love connecting with you so feel free to reach out you know my website simonepasta.com on instagram or facebook lots of things going on in November so if you want to get involved reach out I would love to connect with you as well on a one-to-one level so looking forward to hearing from you have the most beautiful beautiful day sending you so much love